he going to be all right? Kim, you got to get out of here. Oh, my, work. please. Will you get Is her he out of here? Me? Kim, oh my God. you've got to wait outside. Right. got to get out of here, Kim. Right. I can't do anything to Chris while I'm worrying about you. Epi on board. Charging? You sure you want to be here for this? I'm going back in there. I'll stay with Kim. Hang in there, Kim. Oh, God. My son. My son. Kim? Kim? Is Chris all right? His heart stopped. Oh, honey, honey, he's going to be okay. He's going to be fine. He's with the best. And you're not alone. There's nothing you can do out here in the hall. Why don't, why don't you sit down? No, no, I'm going to stay right here. No, no, Henry's right. Let's go down to the waiting room, okay? No. Look, if you're not okay, you can't be here for Chris. Come on. Come on. Is Katie in there? Just rest, son. I feel like I got hit by a truck. Well, you were rested. We had to shock you back. How long was I down? Long enough. How bad is it? It's very bad. I'm going to make a call, have them move you up on the transplant list. We've got to keep your heart strong until we find a donor match. Wait, wait, what about starting the IV treatment? No, that is no longer an option. I'm sorry. Until we find a new heart for him, we have to make sure that this one doesn't go into arrest anymore. I would like to install an LVAD to help the heart pump more. Oh, I know what an LVAD is. Well, the less your heart has to work, the better. No. No way. Forget about it. Are you getting cold feet about marrying me? No. I just... Somebody, I can't wait to marry you. But it, it just doesn't feel right to have this big celebration right after Nancy's funeral. It's only going to make everyone miss her I... more than they already do, and, and that's not the way I want us to start our life together. But th that's a perfect way. To me, it's like honoring her memory. Maybe, but... If Chris and Katie are getting engaged, you know, I don't want to impose on that. Allie, it's just... Allie, let's no, leave no, them... we had the big wedding, and it was a disaster. I just, I really want something completely different. However you want it. Whatever way, okay? As long as this time when it's over, you're my wife. I really like the way you say that. What, wife? Get used to it. Wife. Mm -hmm. Wife. Mm. Wife. <laughs> Is everything okay, man? That's oh. Chris. No, no Elvan. There are no machines. I won't consent. You're not thinking clearly. Oh, Reed. Do you hear me? Listen. Don't be so quick to refuse this procedure. You've coded once. You're in congestive heart failure. I know that. Well, then you also know that it can happen again. And when it does, each time, it becomes more difficult for us to resuscitate you. I'm sorry, but listen, your blood type is very common. Chances are very good that you'll get a heart soon, but in the meantime, we have to make sure that the heart you have remains functional. <laughs> no. You hook me up to that machine. I will never get off it. Okay? And if I die, I am not going to die hooked up to a machine. It's not going to go down like that. So we're not talking about extraordinary measures you're young you're healthy in every other way you're a, you're a perfect candidate for a transplant we just got to keep your your heart strong until a new heart becomes available if 
If it does, then that might not happen. We all know that. Look, I am nowhere near the top of the list, and if I was... If I was any other patient, you would tell me there are no guarantees. You're not just another patient. Yes. Yes, I am. I, I, I don't want any special treatment, okay? No, no jumping ahead of the line. That's not the point, you moron. If we don't keep you alive, the search for a heart is meaningless. Look, life hooked up to a heart pump. Read that. It's meaningless. I'm not going to do this to Katie. Oh, you mean survive? She needs a partner. Right? Not someone else to take care of. Someone to love she needs. Okay, so, so someone to help her raise her son. There's no reason you can't do all of that. No. Dad, no. No machines. No machines. I'm not gonna do it. Damn it, Chris. An LVAD is not a death sentence. It is a temporary measure to keep you stable. I tell you that as your doctor, it is the best decision. And I would not say that if I had any doubts whatsoever that it will help you to get through this transplant. A new heart is not a given. The worse your condition gets, the higher you move on the list. That's the system. Just shut up and let the system work the way it's supposed to. It's my life. It's my decision. Is he awake? Yeah. Is he all right? I'm good. Is he really? What is it? What's wrong? No, they we're just uh, talking about Chris's options. What options? What options are you talking about? Chris is refusing a treatment that will help him survive. Maybe you can talk some sense into it. Christopher, is that true? Um, it's it's complicated. Not really. John wants to install an LVAD. It's a mechanical device that will help his heart pump if it becomes weak. Like a pacemaker? Well, sort of, but it's a, it's a temporary thing, you see. It's not permanent. It's simply to keep him from going into cardiac arrest until we can find a new heart for him, but he is refusing to have the surgery. I can't lie here while you and Katie watch me disintegrate for, for days, weeks, maybe longer. I, I don't want to be remembered like that. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop thinking about being remembered. Think about living. Unless I get a new heart. You're going to get a new heart. Of course you're going to get a new heart. Now listen to your father. Listen to John. They know best. You know what, Chris? If you don't want to fight for yourself, you're going to fight for your parents, all right? No parent should suffer the loss of a child. Chris? You want to know what I think? dare you sacrifice yourself for me? You think I can't handle you being a little sick? Is that how little faith you have in me? No. Of course I have faith in you. You don't want me and your parents to watch you die. That's what you said, right? Yes. How is dying sooner going to make it any easier? No. We haven't had very much time together. Don't you want that? Katie, of course I want that. Then listen to your doctor. Pick one. These three men are the best at what they do. You know that. I know. I know that, but the, the judgment is clouded right now. Why? Because they don't want you to give up? You think if you were just some stranger off the street, they wouldn't care? That's not true. Katie. You don't understand. Yes, I do. I understand just as much as anyone in this room. And I think what you're doing is the furthest thing from noble. I think it's cruel and cowardly. You're not near sick enough to give up fighting. It's my heart. My heart is giving out. And John and Bob and Reed are doing everything they can to get you a new one. You need to do your part and hold on until that happens. Okay. That might not happen. So we'll deal with it then. Please, please, just at least try. I need you. Jacob needs you. And I don't care if you have wires hanging out of your chest for the next year. At least you'll be here with us. Just wait. When the time is right, you will get 
the heart that was meant for you. Okay? And then John will fix you. And in the meantime, we'll spend that time just getting to know everything we can about each other. I want that. So do I. So please don't cheat us out of that. Nobody who loves you wants to be spared. You've already been through too much. And I haven't given up. you a card and make you watch ballroom dancing shows until you understand why I love them so much. And when you get your new heart and you're all healthy, we're going to take tango lessons and we're going to go out dancing with Barbara and Henry and we're going to give them one for their money. We have so many memories still to make together and you're going to want to be there for them because it is going to be an incredible, meaningful, beautiful life. I mean, so, uh, is Chris gonna make it? I don't know, Casey. He's really sick. Can we, Bob? How's Katie dealing with it? She wasn't at the hospital when I was there. She does know, right? Yeah, yeah. Reed told her everything. He said she's really torn up. Yeah, I can imagine. Are you okay? I, my family must be freaking out. You know, I... I should probably get to the hospital and be with her. I mean, you should come with me. They're your family, too. Okay. Okay, I'll go for the bionic heart after all. Good choice. Thank you. Thank Katie. She reminded me there's something worth fighting for. Oh. She's gonna need you to help her through this. Does that make you jealous? No, not at all. It would be selfish of me to keep you all to myself. But I promise you we will tango rings around them. Tom? Where are you? Well, he's stable right now, but I don't know for how long. What have you heard about that heart in Bay City? That was very good, Katie. I should hire you to try to talk some sense into my most stubborn patient. I don't even know what I said. Well, what you said was perfect for all of us. Actually, I could not have said that better myself. I am so proud of you. Bob, where did Bob go? Hey, listen, there's a heart. Oh, Careful, Bubbles, Bubbles. You can manhandle them once the new heart is installed, okay? The new heart. I'm gonna miss the old one. How could I help but fall in love with it? Dad. Where did the heart come from? Bay City. I don't know very much except they ran a tissue match and it's perfect. Who's the heart gonna get here? Well, the harvest team is working right now. They have a helicopter standing by, and once they're done, they're going to airlift it right here to the hospital. Reed. Oh, hey, I was just going to text you. Chris got a heart. It's on its way from Bay City. <laughs> I told you it was going to be okay. Well, can I, can I go see him? Oh, yeah, the whole family's in there. What's two more? You want to go? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe Chris got a heart so quickly. Uh, it's a good thing, too. I'm not sure how long he would have lasted without it. Maybe if he hadn't been so stupid about admitting that he was sick. Oh, come on, Reed. Even you and your infinite power must admit that you're a little bit happy for Chris. This is incredible. Yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> 